Now will I just fall in love with the upcoming Galaxy foldable device or just keep finger cross? And watch while I don't know for now time shall tell. But I've finally come to realize that I need a phone that's easy to use with one hand when I'm on the go and a device. That comes with a big screen useful for multitasking, consuming multimedia and games, or rather a game. Galaxy Z Fold for the word refinement was made for Samsung's full series, which we expect to come with slightly wider and shorter outer. And inner screens, a creaseless inner display to fold shut without leaving a gap, the Galaxy S22 Ultra's camera system. Even if the 10x periscope zoom lens needs to go although Huawei proof that including such a camera in a foldable is indeed possible. We've already heard rumors about further design refinements with the Galaxy Z Fold 4. But unfortunately not all of them are great it's expected that the fourth generation foldable from Samsung will retain the same display ratios as the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and 2. We don't know if this design is finalized but I strongly hope there's a chance Samsung will give it another thought leaks have revealed that Samsung will find space within the Galaxy Z Fold 4's body for a built-in S Pen, which is brilliant. It makes so much sense to have this one stored in the device which also makes me wonder why Samsung had to include an S Pen. In the Galaxy S22 Ultra it's also believed that the Galaxy Z Fold 4 will come with an improved under display camera. Or even cameras. One invisible shooter under each display but we haven't heard much about the remaining fundamental features. But of course being a mobile phone enthusiast I can't look at the Galaxy Z Fold 3 as just a gaming device unfortunately for me. And everyone who wants the best foldable phone available today the story isn't too different. The Galaxy Z Fold 3 is just a refined Fold 2 which adds water protection S Pen support and an innovative but questionable 4MP under display camera yet without addressing some of the fundamental hardware issues of its predecessor. That'd be a very expensive gaming device, which I can't afford to keep around for the sake of one game, so I immediately thought. Of all the shortcomings that accompany Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 3 the awkwardly tall outer screen, the crease in the middle of the big display, the gap when the phone is closed, and of course the noticeably less capable camera system. Compared to Pixel 6 Pro off the gate, these are too many compromises to make if you'll be spending $1,800 on a phone. Furthermore, Google's magical software, powered by the second-gen Tensor chip and powerful camera processing will give the Pixel a serious chance at challenging the Galaxy Z Fold 4 if Samsung's foldable doesn't bring some meaningful improvements over its predecessor. Google's foldable is expected to be sold for just about $1,399 which would be $400 less compared to the Galaxy Z Fold for $1,799. If the latter doesn't see a price drop so on that effect Samsung has a big work to do in other to top up its game. Let me know your thought in a comment below, and if you are new here, please subscribe the video. Thanks for watching see you on my next tutorial. Peace out.